Hello, welcome to the year 22nd session. In the previous session, we have created the year project and setting up the entity framework code. In this session, we are going to setting up the GraphQL.NET libraries. We have currently two projects, APIs and the data. Along with this, we also need to create another new project for a business logic as well as the GraphQL models. Create a new project of a type class library of a .NET Core with the name of pizza order dot business. Create another project. Again, it will be a class library of a .NET Core and name will be pizza order dot GraphQL models. Delete the default classes from the both project. In the GraphQL models project, we need to install the GraphQL package. I'm going to use the version 3.0 with the preview 12.71. Latest preview is right now available, but I have not verified it. Maybe at the time when you watch this video, final version may be released. So you can use this instead of using the preview versions. This project also have a reference from the business project. And the business project has a reference to the data project. Now our API project require reference from the all of the project. So update it. In the business project, create a folder for services. Create a new class. Order detail service. Within that, create a I order detail service interface and implement it in a class order detail service. Create a private read only field for the pizza DB context, DB context. In a constructor, inject it. and set it to the uh, private field. In the same way, create a new class for the pizza detail service. Create interface for it, i pizza detail service, and implement it in the uh, pizza detail service. And create a private read only field for the pizza db context, db context. Create a constructor, inject the ADB context, and set it to the private field. In the API project, now we need to add the service dependency. I generally prefer to create a new class which contains the sum of the actions and method for adding the dependency of our project. Instead of writing the all of the theta startup.cs file, create a new class. Configure service sections and make it public static. Create a new method, public static void, add custom services. This method will be extension of the i service collection. Within that service, add service as a transient for the pizza detail service. as well as the order detail service. In the API project, we need to add the NoCat packages for the GraphQL server. Search for the GraphQL.server. We need to install the UI Playground. UI Voyager. Transport ASP.NET Core as well as the uh, Transport's web socket. Now all required GraphQL server-side packages are added. All of them have the uh, version 3.5 alpha 27. Open the uh, configure service actions in class. 
we get a new method public static add custom graphql services it will be extension method of the i service collection let me paste this code that will be used to add the dependency for the graphql Using this statement, we are configuring how the dependency for the GraphQL type will be resolved. For this, we need to use the func service provider. Using the add GraphQL, we have added the server side support. We have enabled the matrix, not exposing the exception, and specify the delegate that we will call when any kind of unhandled exception occurs. Enable the web socket using the add web socket as well as enable the add data loader after creating those actions and method we need to call it from the startup within the configured services write services dot add custom services also call the services dot add custom graphql services in configure method call the use web sockets method and also call the GraphQL playground method. Let's also update the startup page for this project. For this, open the launch setting file. In the launch URL, write the UI slash playground. Save all the files and run the project. Here our GraphQL playground comes. It's like the GraphQL that we have seen, but have the some additional features. We do not have any schema, so it will obviously give server side error. But we have setting up the GraphQL services for the, our project. In the next session, we will create the type that will be used by the GraphQL. Let's see what we have learned in this session. We need to install those packages. I have already mentioned the version that I have installed. To add the service dependency, I have created the actions and method, which add the custom services as well as the services of the GraphQL. In startup file, call those actions and method as well as use the middleware for the WebSocket and the GraphQL Playground. Stay tuned for the next session.